What's up guys, Barry Big Palms Fishing here, back at Lechelade Trout Fishery. My 5 weight Orvis Helios 3, some new Costa Sunglasses, and my kick-ass Damsel Fly. Let's see if I can get myself a decent fish. Right, let's just do a little walk around the lake, my feet are soaking, wrong footwear for today. But, these are very comfortable. These Costas are very good for seeing in the water. I'm just going to take a walk around and see if I can spot any big fish. This is not a bad little swim here. You're just as likely to bump into a big fish. There's loads in here. But let's just do a little bit of fan casting just for 10 minutes. 5 minutes, 2 minutes. bit of scum in the water there. Yeah it's got some got some lovely movement that that damsel. Can't see that wouldn't attract a fish but let's see how we go. back I say at the moment Lechlade is not overly clear water clarity wise but um, it's the first time I've used this fly it looks the business but sometimes you think something looks good and it actually doesn't work The mustard, I think. It's not a lot of action, guys, so um, I swapped to a Bibio because there's a little bit of surface action. I'm wondering if that might tempt a take. There's a lot of people using indicators, so let's try something different because the lures don't seem to be working today. Got a really long leader there, about 14 feet, so. A very similar fly to what I caught my double on here last time. When that sun gets a bit higher, I'm going to go and have a go at stalking because I should be able to see through the water a little bit more. But right, nice long cast out. There we go. This all this line is beautiful. So this is a size 12. I have actually got smaller flies, but if I just slowly figure out that in. So it's a time of year really natural should be doing better than lures. Unless the fish has just been stocked. This is the um swim by the house. I've never had much luck here. And I've never caught a fish out of this swim. The majority of the fish around there so I didn't get lines cast at them all day. But I've gone small, I've gone natural. Let's see if it produces a fish. Never know my luck. Way. No. Cool. That's a lump. Oh. So that's actually, I'm lying. That's actually on a mayfly. Oh. It's on a mayfly. Yeah. 
nehmen. It's quite a nice fish actually. God, this fish is going, this fish is going, oh mate, God, oh mate, God. And he pinged the hook. Bugger. Mayfly. Hello. God. Okay, it's wrapped up in the line, let's get it in. Or not. Thinks that it's wheat a bix. <laughs> the hell. Oh. Thing is, you bully him in and it pings, doesn't it? Yeah, that's the problem. So I done to my fish earlier. Yeah, I saw you lose that one. Yeah, I was gutted. That, went a, that was a nice fish. Yes. Whee. fish
What's up guys, this was a couple of weeks ago I actually recorded this footage, I haven't had a chance to stick the head cam on recently, um, but I thought I'd bring it to you anyway, this was about mid-May time at Lechlade, you know, Bushy Lees fish as well all the way through the year, they're not as big a fish in Bushy Lees, but Lechlade obviously is the big fish water, um, but as it gets hot, Lechley does start to get a lot harder, you know, it's a, a lure water in the winter, you catch a lot there on lures, but in May time, it really was switching onto the natural nymphs. And there's a guy there in the boat who was absolutely smashing the fish on this particular day using an indicator and a team of buzzers. Um, he had a couple of fish over £10 too. And I literally had to wait about three hours to the middle of the day. It might have even been one o'clock till I started actually landing into fish. I did heavily, heavily consider also moving towards a team of buzzers with an indicator. Just seeing this other guy absolutely smashing it. It's very, very tempting, you know, to kind of move towards that uh, style of fishing. Not that I have a problem with indicators. I'm an ex-course fisherman. Um, I know some people really, really don't like them and they're frowned upon. But at the end of the day, it's a very, very natural way of fishing your team of buzzers. And it clearly is very, very effective. Um, but actually, when I started moving towards a mayfly nymph on this day, I did start to get some takes and I had a couple on damsel as well. But it's just generally getting a little bit tougher there. But let's lay the fish are so fierce when they fight. They're one of the best waters for the fight of the fish that you will find anywhere and the average size of fish there is absolutely stonking uh you know you're lucky you are unlucky if you get a fish below five or six pound really a little bit like diva springs but it's such a great place to fish i really really love Lechlade. And uh, when the summer's over, I'm going to be giving it a lot more time there and spending more time in this water as much as I can. Anyway, guys, let's hit the next clip. I've just switched on. Ooh, that's a big one. No, they just switched on out of nowhere. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, let's have a mint. That's a nice fish. Thank you, sir. No problem. Oh, that's a... So, guys, so I'm going to show you how I um, personally clean the fish. So, I've put my fingers opposite way in the gills. So, my fingers are inside there. I put in the ventral fin slice it up the stomach bearing in mind my fingers are inside here so I'm gonna go a bit shallow with the knife 
Right, from here, over the bin, put your fingers in the gills, okay? And break, that will come out. Break. Then if you give it a big pull, all the insides will come out too. There you go, look. Oh. Cool. There's always one gill that won't come out, but you saw the insides come in one go. There we go. And there you have it. So what I do then, give it a slice up the uh, blood vessel. Do it for all the fish. Watching your fingers, obviously. Get your, get your spoon. And there we go. And out comes the blood vessel. In the back. Let's give it a rinse of water. There we go. You can leave the heads on or heads off. It's personal preference. Um, there's a lot of people who I know who won't accept fish with the head on. Um, because it looks at them, blah, blah, blah. So I think I might take the heads off these. But normally I would leave the heads on. There we go. So Letch Lady is one of those places that let you actually clean your fish on site. So if you use places like this, please clean up after yourself, guys. Um, yeah, at the end of the day, these facilities, if someone comes into them and they're rank all the time, eventually the fishery is just going to stop providing you the service. And being able to clean your fish at site, so you don't have to stink your own kitchen out really is a bonus that was a fail wasn't it uh oh, shot. Oh, i know what i'm gonna use there we go. take the heads off there you have it There you have it guys, give them a rinse. Just get the blood out. One last rinse. There we go. And one absolutely good to eat trout. Just having a little walk around the lake guys. Had free fish. The water clarity is getting better. Let's just see if there's any big fish swimming in the margins I can have a pop at. See that water's actually quite clear compared to earlier this morning. But it's been a rock hard day and then suddenly the fish just came on and had three fish in 30 minutes. <laughs> That's the way it goes. That's why it's called fishing and not catching, right? You need to take your time when you're looking for fish. Absolutely nice and slow. <laughs> There's a little pike there. He's gone. Took one look at Chad and said, you're one ugly mofo, I'm off. Best bit of advice I can give you if you're going to do with this stalking lark. Slow, stealthy, and try and be quiet. So this is where I was stalking those big fish last uh, a couple of weeks ago, and that guy come and scared them off. So let's just take it nice and slow. Haven't seen any big fish today in the margins. Which is a little bit odd. Just need to have the patience to walk around. But in the heat of the day, the big fish do take a bit of shelter occasionally. But at the moment, Can't 
couple of us a fish. Or what? I think there's a couple of fish in there. Might be coarse fish. Can't quite tell. Oh, you bet it. Mirror carp. Well, if I can see a big carp, I can definitely see a big trout. There we go. A little bit of stop start. I did do a bit of stalking, guys, but um, it just wasn't playing ball. The water's not um, conducive to that, that kind of fishing. But I thought I'd go and do some fan casting and find myself another fish because it's about 10 to 5 and I've got a three hour drive home. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I uh, wanted to make sure I get home at a decent time today. Fish do fight very well here at Letchlade. Um, about another three to four weeks and this place is going to be closed because it would be too hot. The water temperature would be too high. So you saw me lose a fish here earlier today. And the fish that I lost was actually about twice the size of this one. But I filled my ticket and that's the main thing. That's a nice about five pound fish guys. Right, let's get off this rickety ass pontoon. Clean this fish and go home. Not a bad day guy, four fish. No doubles but um, yeah, good day anyway.